Well, I've been in a biotech space for over 25 years, and um, I had a privilege of launching many wonderful drugs and new therapeutic areas. And uh, for the past 20 years, I've been very much involved in advancing cell and gene therapy space. What we've learned or what we thought uh, many, many decades ago is that cells will um, really know where to hone in and where their target is and how long they need to stay on target. Uh, once we deliver, deliver it, let's say through um, an IV for solid tumor. What we understand now is that cells require to stay on the solid tumor for extended period of time or for however length that they're designed to stay there in order to make an impact. That made me think through um, for years now that we need to have a delivery system, a better um, and novel delivery system that is um, encapsulating the cells without any immune rejection that allows them to stay directly on tumor. So we can probably use less cells because they can stay on target and we can actually see the full potential of that therapeutic in terms of efficacy. So um, as we continue to innovate in the cell therapy, I think we need to innovate in the way we formulate and drug deliver these products as well. So I decided to join Licata and um, honestly bring Licata after seven years of research and development to the cell and gene and um, large molecule community. So they have uh, consideration, another consideration for how to optimize these therapies. Challenges with regard to um, efficacy and staying on target for cell therapy specifically. And um, we're really talking about the solid tumors. Our ability to encapsulate and stay on target and avoid the off target effect is critical in obviously deriving the most we can. And honestly, having this sustained release function in cell therapy, which is novel, because otherwise patients would have to come back for day. Our technology enables to deliver that cell therapy to a target tumor and stay there for you know, three months or six months. So that's a huge advantage for the patients and for the providers who are treating that condition. Um, also, because we're encapsulating the cells, we're maintaining this micro environment or nutrients that cells need in order to function. We call it viability. So cells uh, are alive and functioning much better in this micro environment of encapsulation that we provide. Second part, and um, I think what's getting people a lot of um, excitement now is because the hydrogels are cryoprotectant, we actually solve a quite a big issue that we can maintain the cell health while we're storing or transporting. As you probably heard that transportation of these cells require a liquid nitrogen storage, which is very expensive and very cumbersome. We actually are able to transport the cell therapies in our hydrogel on dry ice, which is huge. It was an aha moment, even for Licarda. So Licarda has been around for seven years and they have cell therapies in type one diabetes for dogs and for osteoarthritis in horses. So they have been delivering these cell therapies across the border to veterinarians. And they honestly cannot afford the liquid nitrogen storage, nor do they have deep freezers in the veterinary space. So it's brilliant that they're able to transport um, their cell therapies on dry ice and then when vets receive them, they just simply get dry ice from the pharmacy or local store uh, and, and uh, able to maintain the cells until they're injected. So that notion that Licarda has been practicing was a true aha moment when I started working with um, Lisa, who has just joined us as a, one of the founders, and we thought, what a brilliant invention to bring to um, the cell therapy world that is now paying probably more for the transportation of the cells than sometimes for the manufacturing. A huge part 
is going to be about collaboration. Now, LaCarta has built a platform of hydrogel delivery. Um, so what we are really intending is to partner with companies that have the cell therapies or biologics that are looking for our solution. So we would love to partner with them and enable their cell therapy or protein therapy to be more effective with the attributes, obviously, that's relevant to our platform. It's also important to partner with organizations that currently are in logistics and cryopreservation space because they already have the audience and they're already solving these challenges and facing these challenges, frankly, every day. We just have a better solution that we would love to be part of their infrastructure. Our whole goal is to deliver better, more effective uh, therapies in a more cost effective manner. And the only way that we can truly adhere to that mission is if we partner with organizations that already are in that space and become the enabling technology. The way that I think of the technology, it's a new modality to deliver cell therapies. So it's, it's a delivery system. The reason why it's novel is because we do not use alginate or other type of material that would create a, an immune reaction, which is a first generation hydrogels use. So that's the unique aspect of Licarda. When we do work with clients, and we actually have several clients in the small molecule space or in the protein space, we do have our own patents. So there is a way to actually, again, bring cost effectiveness to the system and re-engineer, if you will, the drug utilizing our platform to be more effective or long acting, which is better for the patients and better for the outcomes in giving it new life through our patents, rather than completely abandon that technology and come up with something a lot more expensive that may be ne not necessary for the treatment of the patient. It started out in pharmacy school, and when uh, the more you learn about drugs, the more you learn about A, what therapeutic areas are not addressed. And then, of course, you learn about the side effects. So it's always about finding the balance. How do you find the novel treatment? Um, we deal a lot with um, cancer and rare orphan conditions, but also how do you manage the side effect profile? That's really uh, where the immunoprotecting comes in because a lot of the drugs require pretreatment, which is very problematic for very sick patients. And my journey has actually taken me to work at brilliant companies like Merck for, I don't know, over a decade. And I've seen the evolution of drugs and understood uh, the impact to healthcare with um, social economics perspective and the cost of new therapeutics. So my mission really has taken me, well, how do you identify these brilliant new treatments for conditions of high unmet need and deliver them in a cost-effective, manageable way to the system and to the patient? It's a challenging uh, mission because we want to embrace innovation and usually innovation comes at a cost. So um, that's why I absolutely love the uh, opportunity we have with Licardus technology. Well, hopefully we'll be able to um, launch a lot more treatments for the stuff to treat cancers um, like ovarian, uh, like uterine um, and other rare conditions. And hopefully we will figure out how to launch these treatments um, in the cost effective manner. So our healthcare system can afford to pay for these treatments and patients, regardless of their social economic um, status, can afford to take those treatments and get well. Overall, I think that we have so much innovation, not just in drugs, but in drug delivery, that's the mission, right? How do you partner together and uh, combine the approach of um, technologies and science and therapeutics together to really optimize the product delivery and, you know, in our case, also cryopreservation and logistics. It's, it's a robust system that if we maybe um, 
take more of a collaborative approach and across the lanes versus everybody staying in their own lane would be of a great benefit. And I hope that synergy in being able to cross pollinate our knowledge across the system um, would translate into faster approval, better therapeutics in a more cost effective way. 